How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse. Welcome back to another episode of Mesh Mixer Tips. Today I'm going to be showing you just a few ways you can view your mesh differently and a few improvements you can do for your Boolean operations. So basically, as I might have explained in my previous video, when you view meshes by default in Mesh Mixer, it rounds them off, which is a lie because this mask looks nice and smooth, but if I turn the wireframe on, you'll notice that there still is quite a few facets. So what you can do to change that is you hold down spacebar and change it from the default to not smoothing and you can see it shows the mesh for actually what it really is with all those triangles. You can't get an STL with actual true rounded surfaces, it's just just triangles, you know, you could have a huge triangle count to make it really look make it look really smooth, but yeah, this actually helps quite a bit when you're designing your files and making sure you're not working with a file that's really low polygon count, so when you go to print it, it looks all faceted and terrible. So there's that. So the next thing I'll show you is Boolean operations. So I touched on this in my previous video. I'll just go to edit and separate shells. You'll notice that we've got two different parts here. We've got the, the mask and the base. So I want to combine these two. But if I go to edit, select those two, boolean union, that's not what I want, that's pretty rubbish. And the reason that's happening is Mesh Mixer needs triangles to do this operation, and I'll just cancel that. If I turn the wireframe view back on, that base is only two triangles, and it's just not enough data for Mesh Mixer to work with. So if you're getting weird problems like that, I'll show you a quick tip to um, to improve your success. So let me turn the mask off. I'm going to go to select, and I'm going to select those two triangles, nothing else, as you can see. And I'm going to edit and remesh, and I'm going to just, just create more triangles, basically. So I'm going to say accept, and then edit, remesh again, more triangles, smooth down so I don't want it to round it off, accept, edit, remesh, and there we go. That's heaps of triangles. So this is really counterintuitive. It's like, why are you making more triangles for a flat surface angus? Well, I'll show you why. So here we go. I've got all those triangles. I'll now get the mask back, select both, and pull in union. And you notice it looks perfect straight away. Nothing's changed there. Um, it hasn't destroyed any geometry. I'll say accept. And you can see it's done a perfect union between the mask and the base. And it was those extra triangles that enabled this to happen. So if you're having weird issues with Boolean operations, just increase your triangle count in the area that you're trying to um, alter and you'll have much higher success. And yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you around. Make us muse. Bye.